guys, George May here. So I'm back with a, another video. I know I said I was gonna upload consistently and I was gonna do lots of videos, but I haven't. But best late than never, I'm here with another video and I'm gonna be doing a sort of talk through my GMF collection. I asked on Instagram earlier what guys you, what guys? What leotards you wanted to see and you, most of you had said my GMF collection. Um, but I'm thinking of doing like a little series where I show my GB leotards, long sleeve leotards, train leotards, GMF collection, the whole lot, but talk through them all like individually. But most of you had voted for my GMF leotards today, which I'm super, super excited about. I get to speak about my collection to you all. So yeah, let's get on with it. Let's look at some leotards. Let's go. Okay, so. I first bought out my collection with Quattro in 2018, sort of around my birthday, um, so like November time. And I don't really know how it came about. I just wanted to, like the opportunity was given to me to design some leotards and sort of have it under my name, of which I was like super, super excited about. That's something I've always wanted to do. So I literally got designing almost straight away. The first leotard I actually came up with not sure if you could see too well, was this one. I really wanted to have a straight neckline because a lot of leotards tend to have a round neck and I wanted to go for something a little bit different. So I went with the straight neckline. Oh my God, I have like fluff on my arm. Um, Yeah, I went for the straight neckline and we had like a waterfall diamante pattern happening. And we sort of chose this color and then I wasn't too sure on it. I wanted more of a baby pink because baby pink at that time was like my favorite color. But this was the like sort of first sample leotard that we had. And it's got three individual straps like so. I wanted to have it quite strappy. I think they always look so beautiful for training and they're super comfy and not too like tight on you. And then we went for this really cool back design here. Um, we went for the white mesh. I did want it to see through, but I wasn't quite sure if that was gonna work. And I was also thinking about a sports bra underneath. So we decided to not go for see through. Um, and again, this really, really pretty pattern. I feel like it's so different. I haven't really seen leotards like that before. Um, I've seen a couple come out now um, with like sort of similar ideas, but this was like the first one I sort of designed, but we changed the color to this baby pink in the end, which is just gorgeous. I don't actually wear this leotard too much, of which I feel like I need to start wearing it more, but baby pink is just so beautiful. Again, with the gray and the white, I feel like it matches a lot better than the coral does. Um, so I'm sort of glad I went with this choice. I could have gone a little bit darker just so it fits everybody and everybody can wear it. But again, has the George May Fenton on the leotard. So yes, these are my first ones that I'd sort of worked out and was super, super excited about them and very, very happy how they turned out. And to go along with that collection, we come out with this leotard as well. You can never go wrong with a black leotard. So this was the next design I went on. I want it to be almost like a suit of armor. That's the idea I was going for which explains all the Diamantes coming across here. Oh, we actually went with sequins at first, um, but we then decided to go with Diamantes after as some of the sequins had fell off and I really didn't want that to be the case. I wanted it to all stay on and all look beautiful forever kind of thing. So again, I had to incorporate the pink. We went for a little bit more of a hot pink and then baby pink and then the Diamantes. And this is the back of the leotard, just a really simple V but I wanted to keep this one a little bit more simple on the back as we went for a crazy back on the other one and we went more on the front on this one. And this is the diamond version of the leotard. Again, super shiny, super beautiful, all the same colors again, exactly the same design. And on the back, this leotard is so comfy. Probably one of the comfiest ones, I mean, Black always looks classy and beautiful in training, competition, and always, of course, had to add in a little bit of pink in there. Yeah, so, as I was saying, I've brought out a lot of pink and greys and blacks, but I also have brought out blue. 
quite a few of the leotards. Um, I'm not too sure which one I'm going to show next. I think I might go for this one. So, this leotard is called May. Oh my god, I forgot to say the names of the other leotards. I'll like try and put them in below or like in the video or something. But this leotard is called May. This one is probably my favourite in terms of comfort, actually. The black one and these, both these two, both colours are super comfy. This is a lycra material, which always makes it comfier. And the diamantines on this one are just beautiful. I kind of wanted to have like, almost look like angel wings coming down on the front. And again, have like a waterfall effect, but also sort of curve the body as well. So this one, it's just beautiful, so comfy. And then we went for a really nice back as well on here. I'm not too sure how you can see, but we've got crisscrosses over here. And then the Diamante design sort of carries on either side of the leotard around the like middle of your back. And then instead of having the George May Fenton on the hip, we went with, it's quite hard to see, leotards actually quite fiddly. Um, the GMF in Diamantes on the back, which I love. A lot of people um, sort of know me as GMF, so I thought it was nice to sort of add that in as well. Um, but yeah, the Diamantes on this one are just beautiful. So, so pretty. And then we have the same in this beautiful sort of evergreen colour. Again, same leotard, same Diamantes, everything's the same, just different colour. But this colour is really nice. I do like both of them. Um, this is sort of very different to what I'd kind of normally go for. But I also love it. I love both of them. So comfy. Again, with the GMF on the back. Beautiful crisscross. And super, super, super comfy. Really, really nice. Hey, I feel like I have loads of leotards to get through. Um, we're gonna go for a couple more of the training ones before we go on to like my more competition replicas. Sticking on blue and grey, we're gonna go for this leotard here. Again, the straight neckline, super beautiful. I love that, but we've gone for a bit of a thicker strap this time. And we have mesh in this section here, filled with diamantes, with a diamante um, waistband. And then we have a nice open back again. I do like to do pretty cool backs. Um, open back leotards are always sort of nice to train in. Give you like a little bit of breeze um, and not as stuck to you all the time. But we went, it's quite hard to show, but we went with two straps. This bigger strap here has got gathered mesh on the back. And I think, so I probably come out of this one after I'd done my British leotard with the gathered mesh at the side, which I'll show you. Um, I actually saw a couple of the American gymnasts do the gathered mesh and I was like really inspired by it. I thought it looked so beautiful. So I wanted to bring that into my leotards as well. It looks lovely, the open back and just have a little touch of something cool. Um, really adds to the leotards. The front is quite simple, um, but classy. And then a little bit of something on the back. We then also brought it out Actually, we didn't bring it out in that colour. That was one that I was sort of thinking about doing first. Um, but I didn't want to have two greys, so we changed it up into this colour. So the same blue, but basically just the other way around. So more blue than grey, um, which I think is beautiful. It's really different. Um, not really seen a leotard this colour before, so I always like to do something a little bit different. Um, well, what I think is different to everybody else and sort of add my own little touch onto it. So... That's why we went with this colour. And as I explained, the beautiful straight neck, the thick straps, the beautiful waistband, the gathered mesh at the back, and then the simple sort of blue line. And finally, from like that collection we bought out, I then did the same in yellow. Grey and yellow look so beautiful together. Um, really, really pretty. Let's see if we get a little close up. We've got the yellow diamante. Really beautiful design. I get a lot of compliments on this leotard. Um, I think yellow, again, is something that not many people sort of go for. So it always adds and like looks different. So that's why I think a lot of people like the yellow leotard. And then the back is exactly the same with the, oh, gathered mesh and the yellow line.
they're all just so lovely. I didn't even realise how many like leotards I had in my collection until I like got them out of my leotard box and brought them downstairs and I was like, oh my God, I actually have like a lot. What we have left is my competition leotards now that have been sort of brought out as replicas. So I think the first year we did that was 2019 British Championships and a lot of people went crazy for the leotards. Um, most of them had like sold out, um, which for me and also for Quattro was just like brilliant. Um, but this was my exact competition leotard that I wore. Um, had a pretty good competition in it, did a good bar routine. Floor was not so good, but overall it was pretty good. Um, and again, this leotard is just stunning. Honestly, we have quite a lot going on. So the top layer, I should have got like a hanger. The top layer is mesh with the gathered mesh coming into the side. Then we have this sort of triangle cut out in white mesh here. And on the long sleeve leotard, uh, it's just full of diamantes and the competition leotard is actually really, really heavy. And then we went with a holographic um, white on the bottom and with the Swarovski and AB crystals on the front. And then on the back, we have this little clasp which I don't normally like, I'm not normally a fan of it, but I think for this leotard, it actually works really well and I really, really liked it. And then we had this sort of oval shape going into the back, adding just more details. It's quite, there's quite a lot going on on the back actually, but I think it all ties in well. We have the other um, triangles coming in on the back and then the GMF in the middle. Yeah, beautiful. I don't have the long sleeve one, which I'm gutted about because it's upstairs and it's in the loft. Because I have so many leotards, um, I don't always have like the space to keep them. So I normally put my long sleeve leotards in the loft. But this was probably one of my favorite competition ones. One of them, actually I can't even decide, I love them all. But moving on to the next leotards I had. For the British, I always tend to go for two leotards, two different designs. Um, sometimes they match each other, sometimes they don't. Basically since like 2016, um, I'd always had two leotards because we have all around and then we obviously hope to make finals and you always want to wear a different leotard. So this was the second um, design I'd gone for. Again, it's got quite a lot going on, lots of stripes, lots of lines. Again, beautiful blue color, almost like a teal and like mint and I love this leotard. I actually wore this for the English because I also like to sort of tie in the English and British leotards together. This one's called Ignite because it's almost like a firework. It starts off all calm and then like an explosion happens and then like all the firework lines come out and it all looks beautiful. So that's the sort of idea I have behind this. And then we have the diamantes coming down in this triangle here. Um, we went with teal diamantes, a little bit of baby blue and some silver just your regular silver diamantes and then the back the pattern is very similar just more diamantes all over the back then come out with the same one in a like choco copper color and oh this one i love as well not many people go for this color so that's why i sort of love it as well different to what everyone else goes for i feel like i should do another leotard in this color because i loved it and a lot of people loved it as well and again, same design, but this time we've got yellow and bronze diamantes on the front and on the back. And yeah, these two are just beautiful. They're so pretty. It's sort of like an opal white color in here, not a matte white, sort of a shiny white, but it's got a little like opal tinge to it as well. Then we're gonna move on to this year's um, British leotard and English leotard I was meant to have. Fortunately, we didn't get to do the English or the British this year, but we still already had the designs in place. So we've got them come through anyway. Unfortunately, I don't have the long sleeves because we didn't need to have the long sleeves, but I would have loved to have the long sleeves. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, this is called Vogue. I keep forgetting to say the names in all the leotards. This one's called Vogue and I love this. I love both of these so, so much. I love the grey and how it ombres into like a cream colour. I love like all shades of nude. 
Um, most of my wardrobe are like these kind of colours. My room's very much this vibe. So I love it and I really wanted to bring it into a leotard. There's not many people go for like a creamy colour again. So I wanted to use that. Um, but it's just beautiful. Again, plain on the bottom. Beautiful diamante pattern on the top. I tend to get most of my designs from um, wedding dresses or prom dresses. Uh, that's where I look. I always go on Pinterest and have a look around on there. And I found this Diamante design on a wedding dress. I thought it was beautiful. We added in some dark grey um, crystals. You get the outline a little bit more along with just some silver ones. And then I'm not too sure how you can see, but it sort of comes up into two Vs on the neck underneath the mesh, which when it lit us on, it looks really cool. But I think it creates a really cool shadow and looks beautiful. And then the back is very similar. Again, nice and plain, but the beautiful ombre at the top. I would have loved to have seen these in a long sleeve. This is the pink one. It's a very different color pink. Um, it's more of a muted rose pink. Um, again, love these colors. And then it ombres into a sort of gray purple color. Again, with the dark diamantes to outline the design that we wanted. And then we've got some like pink diamantes on there and the silver. But it's just so beautiful. The colors, everything just fits so well. So the last leotard from my collection, um, it's not out yet, but I have already shown you guys, is another blue kind of color. It's always weird because blue is not really like my favorite, but I always seem to go for blue if I go for something else. And very intricate design. This was what I was going to wear for the English Championships this year. And I'm not too sure where we got the inspiration from this one. I kind of just wanted something different again and sort of abstract lines all over the body, which turned out really, really cool. I love this one as well. We went for a nude neckline, sort of in a diagonal because everyone goes for like the round neck or a bit of a V. So we used a diagonal neckline to make that a little bit different. And the nude from far away, it will look like it's sort of coming off the shoulder. That was the aim we wanted to go for, but we didn't get to wear it. So maybe next year we'll try something very similar. And then all the sort of lines, we have gathered mesh here and here and uh, two strips on the back as well. And they're ombre, so they go from blue to like a creamy color, which is just really, really pretty. And then the back, again, very similar, but we've gone for a diagonal open back, which again is very, very different. The long sleeve leotard was gonna have a sort of mesh insert like this on the back. So you can sort of see the diagonal on my back, but in competition, we're not allowed to have open back leotards, but for training we can and warm up, we can sort of wear whatever. Oh, it's so cool. I would have loved to seen it on a competition floor, but I need to get designing some more leotards for next year's British. Um, and hopefully they're gonna be even better than all of these other ones, which I'm sure they will. I love working with Quattro and the designs. They always seem to like nail it on the head and get exactly what I want. So very, very happy with all of them. I have quite a big collection. As I said, I didn't realize how big my collection was, but Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, sort of get to see my collection in a little bit more in-depth detail. But yeah, like and comment down below. I'm gonna do a GB version and some more train leotards. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe down below. And yeah, thank you.